Whoa! I'm the best! Believe in the prophecy. Let's get wild! Hello, TNW Universe! This is good old J.R. Josh Ross here at Rebellion! It's time for Rebellion, folks, here live on YouTube for Tennessee Backyard Wrestling. And, folks, the matches will be as followed. First, we got Russell Cooper and Joe Anderson one-on-one, -on -one, and then we'll get a tendership match. The winner will meet the winner of either Alan Michaels or Jay Wild in the future for a world championship match opportunity. And as well, folks, we also have, they're not as well for the broadcast, Manny Cobra takes on Atomic Titan 101, last man standing. If Cobra loses, he has to leave TBW. But if Titan loses, not if he loses the belt, he must bow down to Manny Cobra. And also, folks, on the broadcast as well, the IC title up for grabs as Robbie Andrews challenged Gage Flair for the IC title with Johnny Jet Ringside with Jay Colch as the special referee. Will Colch come out to the middle? We'll find out here tonight. And also, folks, the main event, the trendsetter, Alan Michaels versus Jay Wild for the TNW World's Heavyweight Championship belt. Will Alan Michaels' dream come true, or will the prophecy of the prophet remain intact for the world title at tonight? Let's go backstage right now to Alan Michaels. Tonight, I go one-on-one -on -one with Jay Wild, the world heavyweight champion. It's the biggest match in my young career here. And every single week, just so keep talking down to me, keep telling me I'm not worth it, keep telling me that I'm not going to amount to nothing. Well, guess what? We're going to crash out. Confident Warther from the Challenger with the man who tonight. And up, up first, folks, we got Joe Anderson taking on the ring of Russell Cooper. And the stage like this, Charles, one of these men will walk out with a victory, not only with a victory cross, they will get a future world title shot. You're absolutely right, Ross. And who will they face off against? Will it be Jay Wall or Alan Michaels? That's always a good question. Can we see a new champion? Can Alan Michaels pull the comeback of the century and take down the leader of the prophecy of the prophet Jay Wall? Well, speaking of, here is Russell Cooper, and the crowd is going wild here at Rebellion. And ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate you tuning in here tonight on Rebellion. Exactly, Rebellion. Let me hear you. Yeah. All over the world, we appreciate you very much for tuning in here. This is our opening contest match. Russell Cooper, the leader, takes on Joe Anderson here at Rebellion. Number one contendership match signed by GM Josh Rowland for the world heavyweight title. Who would it be between either Alan Michaels or Jay Wall? Ross, this matchup. Come on! took place many episodes ago whenever Joe Anderson came running out and speared Russell Cooper. Cost him Cooper his, a rematch. You're right, it cost him a rematch. This man coming out right here, right now. Joe the Grim Reaper Anderson. And the last broadcast we seen, the last time we was on a rampage, excuse me, and Jay Watson, he had nothing to do with the Anderson attacks. <laughs> You're right. He claims he has nothing, nothing to do with those attacks. Well, whether, I mean, people have their opinions, but here he comes, the Grim Reaper and Joe Anderson, both these men, former world heavyweight champions. That is correct. They are both former TBW world heavyweight champions. And tonight, we will see who will go on to face either Alan Michaels or Jay Wild at Summer Bash. I believe that might be the next thing in tow. You know, I'm not sure I've got any confirmation on that. But we got here right now, Cooper this is the Anderson. This I've ever heard. Match on the line. Oh, following contest. This one-on-one match. Scout for one. Follow the Anderson Cooper and Jay Wild. Let me teach you something about showmanship. 
Mr. Reaper. In Raw's, this matchup is fixed to be underway once Rev Charles sounds the bell. And here we go, TBW Rebellion. Referee Charles, the second official here at TBW. Here we go, caught up on time by Cooper and Anderson. Both these men, they've got a story to tell here tonight in Rebellion. A story to tell. And what a takeover delivered by Russell Cooper. Headlock takeover delivered by Cooper. And now, look at the, uh, both men, good grief. Ref Charles got some good eyes. He realized Cooper was able to grab the ropes. Here they go once more. Looks like they size it up one another. Wait a minute. Looks like Joe Anderson's wanting to test his strength to set a lockup. Ah! Away, laughs and rights, sends him off. There goes Joe Anderson. He's coming back. Oh, oh, close oh. line, a close line, and Anderson is down. But look at it coming. A splash. What a splash, Ross. But he did not go for a pinfall. I thought he was going for it. But wait a minute. Death never dies. Death never dies. Joe Anderson back on his feet like nothing even happened. Anderson back up to his feet and now. Up in the corner. Oh, look at the strength, Ross. Look at the strength. It's like a tug of war like these with his tall elbows here. Oh, now look at this now. Anderson. Anderson using those shoulders to his advantage. Targeting the midsection of Russell Cooper. Wait a minute. We could be going for a famous face one. The boot right to the face. Right to the facial features. Not going to drag it in the middle of the ring. In predicament. Oh, not even a one. Not even a one. Nobody home yet for a three count, but now Cooper is back I up like on his feet, fighting for what he wants to get I back like to that weight title. The Grim Reaper is such a powerful character, a powerful entity, Ross. It's going to take a lot more than that to put him down. One, two, and also young. Two. And trying to play puppet master with the Grim Reaper. Well, you're right, Ross. He sure has. And when we see young here tonight, only time will tell. And now it looks like a headlock. He's got it wrist in. Cooper's got it wrist in on Anderson. Cooper yeah. is working in on Anderson. Working in on Anderson. And like I said earlier, Ross, this is a storyline that has been going on for ages. This crush, this few, you know, just showed her right there, driven by Anderson. And Cooper is down. He better get up. And now Anderson stopping away at the chest cavity. Russell Cooper only has this one opportunity here tonight at Rebellion Ross. This one opportunity to win this matchup so that he can have what is rightfully his, and that is that number one contenders. Exactly. That chance to get back and win a title from JY. This could be Cooper's last chance. Last chance indeed. But look at him. Anderson, he's doing everything that he needs to do, and that is working on every limb on the ringleader. Every limb, you can't, we're going to every limb possible. No spotlight kicks, no Grand Valley submission hold, no curtains down, no nothing. And now it looks like Anderson's got Cooper back on his feet. Looks like he's going for one of those vicious suplexes. He's got him, Ross. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That tower, uh, revert, Cooper reversed it. Cooper on the pin. One, two, two. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Ropes, ropes, ropes. ropes. Anderson's ropes. feet is on the ropes. Anderson's oh, ring psychology. Oh, he realized that he was near the ropes, Ross. He was able to get his feet onto those ropes. Indeed. So Anderson, one of the one of the one of the most polarizing ah. figures here in TBW, along ah. along with that creep J Wild, for God's sake. And now Russell Cooper is the one working on the limbs. Working on that left arm of Joe Anderson. Maybe that will affect how he spears. Spear or maybe a choke slam. Anything, anything Anderson can do to put away Cooper. And an arm bar is locked in. It's cinched. Will he submit, Rawls? Will he submit? He's crawling. He's trying to get. Looks like he's in the mid middle of the ring. Wait a minute. Oh, what a punch to the face. Anderson with a punch right with his right, boy, fist. Right to the facial features of Cooper. I would not want to be on the receiving end of one of those punches. He's got them big soup bowl like this. Anderson, look out. Incoming. Ah, oh, about oh. took his neck off. Clothesline. Second clothesline. 
Can he go for a three piece? Three piece combo! And he gets it! Well, the sauce! And now, <laughs> Anderson trolling over. In coverage. One, One two, two, oh! Two! Only a two! Only a two! And if you're tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, right now we're witnessing the number one contenders match between Joe Anderson and Russell Cooper. Whoever wins this matchup will go on to face the world champion in the future, whether that be Alan Michaels or whether that be Jay Wall. And here's some replays of the way you saw them go, those three clotheslines, and then we're back in the, at the ringside area. Looks like Joe Anderson is getting back to his feet. This has been a great show opener for Rebellion, Ross. A great show opener. What a way to kick off Rebellion. Like I said, moments ago, this match was signed by Josh Oh, what a kick. What a kick to the head. That would put me down. <laughs> put anybody down. Come on, pin. We got one. one. Two. Two. No. Cooper, barely, barely, as you all just seen, barely able to lift that left arm up to get his shoulder off the mat. Hey, look at this now. Looks like Anderson could be going for a Hell's Gate. Oh my gosh, Ross! <laughs> look! The Hell's Gate's locked in. He's got it. He's got it. I've seen many men, many men, tap to the submission. He's got, Anderson got it locked and it's cinched. He could possibly tap out right here and that would cause him to not win his matchup. Wait a minute. Ref's got the arm. There's a one. It goes down three times. This thing's over. There's two, two Ross. One there's more and it's over. One more and it's over. Oh! No! Cooper <laughs> lives. Cooper lives. Oh, 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 day. One, two. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, almost a three. Almost a three. Cooper has that pin coverage. A Look at Cooper. Coverage. Look at Cooper, Ross. Look at Cooper. Spotlight. Can you be caught with a spotlight? No, what up? Oh, they got a good spotlight kick. A drive by. One. Two. Oh, oh two. only a two, only a two. Russell on, Cooper ref. was definitely looking that for a three. three. He could taste it. One, he got two. it with that very, like you said, a drive version of a drive-by. Both feet right to the face. Didn't get the three count though. And Joe Anderson get back to his feet. Like I said, death does never take a holiday. It never takes a holiday. Both men punching lefts and rights. Lefts and rights, Ross. What a matchup. What a matchup. Both men going back and forth. Back. Right, look at this now. Whoa. It's not phasing him! Oh, oh he's it's not phasing him! He's backing off! Look out! Look out, Coop! No! No! Oh, oh a double handed like fresh of the choke slam! He was barely able to lift Russell Cooper, and I'm sure he was barely able to lift due to as many times Cooper has been working on the arms of Joe Anderson. He's been working on the left and he's been working on the right. Good call. You, any any limb to take Two. down momentum of the opposition. And you can tell it worked. Because you see, Joe Anderson was barely able to lift Russell Cooper off of his feet. Indeed so. Like one of these men is going to be the number one contender for the World Heavyweight title at the end of this match. Darwin Russell Cooper back inside the ring. Russell Cooper is back inside the ring. Joe Anderson, take a breather, trying to take his time. Anderson taking his time. Now getting back in the ring now. And Cooper is still down. Uh-oh. He's stalking his prey. He's stalking his prey. This could be it. The final nail in the coffin right here. This could be it. Oh, wait a minute. Side snatch and all his shoulder meets the post. He just got posted. Oh, Anderson got posted with the shot. I don't take down this very day of the week. He just got posted, Rose. What in the world was he thinking? Shoulder met post, and the post yeah. always wins. Now, what? you know that has caused more injury to that Two. arm. Look out! Spear! Oh, my God! Oh. And, well, there's an invitation. This is super cool flattery. That wasn't flattery. He's pulled out all the stops here tonight in this first matchup. We just seen a spear delivered by Russell Cooper. Wait a minute, Ross. Look! Spotlight kick by Anderson. Another form of flattery. <laughs> well, that was Look it out. Pin. One, two. Oh, oh, wait a minute. He stopped right yeah. Charles's hand. He was not able to kick no. out, but he was able to grab the hand of Ref Charles. Oh, is, is that even legal? Is that legal in the books? Well, it looks like it's legal here tonight on Rebellion. But look at this vicious spear delivered wow. by Russell Cooper. What a spear out of nowhere. And there's a, his own move. And, and Cooper stole Joe's move. So 
right back at you. <laughs> There's your receipt. That's exactly what a receipt by death himself. Russell Cooper trying. He's trying to get Joe Anderson back onto his feet here, Ross. He's got him up. Wait a minute. Russian swing. Well, we, got, we got people. One, One two. two. Oh, rope break. Rope break. He was able to get the ropes, and he was able almost to kick out of that Russian swing. Can you believe it, Ross? Well, he got the he got the rope break with the with the with the bottom rope there. Now he's got that left and right leg. What's he going for? What's he going for? Wait a minute! Is it the grand finale? Can we see the grand finale? He's, gonna, he's, he's got the legs locked. It could be. It could be the grand finale. Ross, the grand finale's locked in. He's changed in. He's got it locked in. He could submit Joe Anderson right here. That new submission variation. Oh, it's a rope break by Anderson. Rev Charles, good eyes, good eyes. He was able to see that Anderson grabbed the rope. Rope break with the middle rope. Using the middle rope there. Got the hand there. Get Anderson, oh no. He's sizing him up. He's sizing him up. Could he deliver with a spin? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Cooper now, look at this now. Cooper, he's got the he's got the arms trapped. Wait a minute, Ross. He could be turns he's, down. Turns down. Turns down. Turns down. No, wait a minute. Oh, look out, Charles, for God's sake. Full spear ahead. Oh, what a spear. What a spear. Delivered by Joe Anderson. What's coming next? What's coming next, Ross? What's coming next? Wait a minute. Wow. Oh, good God. Bronco Buster. Oh, God, it probably smelled like death itself. Oh. <laughs> he just suffered a Bronco Buster. He's got Russell Cooper back on his feet. Wait a minute, Ross. Is he going to sit him off? Or is he going to sit here and play with him? He sits him off. Off the rope goes Cooper. Look out. Oh, they both collide. Double close line attempt. Anderson go for a pin. Look out. One, One two, two. No. Cooper. Cooper was able to lift the hand of Joe Anderson and throw it off of him, Ross. Somehow, somewhere after that double clothesline predicament, Cooper kicks out. Cooper was what? able to lift the hand right off of him. How much oh more God. can these men take in this matchup? Good question, but, but, but they don't want to stake a chance to go you'll face either Alan Michaels or J1 for the world title. They're punching back and forth, back and forth, Ross. I don't know how much more these men can take, but we're fixing to find out. Russell Cooper coming full speed. Oh, what a clothesline. A vicious clothesline. Cooper meeting a brick wall. And that put, that put a little, that stopped him in his tracks. And it looks like Anderson kicking him in the knee. Oh, it brought him down. Here he comes. Down face. Oh, ah. face. <laughs> Pin. One. Two. Oh. How much is left? Cooper's face met the mat. Oh, man. What a vicious, vicious, vicious. What's going to happen? A vicious face. What's going to happen next? We've seen everything. Spotlight, kicks, spears. They brought it all out. Wait a minute, Ross. Another Russian swing. Russian swing. Russian swing. Can he get it here? Can he get it? Russell Cooper has got to close the circus. He's got to close the show. Here's it. This could be it. The spotlight kick. The spotlight kick. Uh, He's uh, setting him up. Wait a minute. What the? Uh, 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 it's Jacob Young. It's Young. It's Young. The man in black. He's here to help out his Anderson, for God's sake. Spear. Family, Spear. Family ties run deep. One, two, three. I can't believe what we just see here, ladies and gentlemen. The man in black, young, distracted, Russell Cooper, which got the win for Joe Anderson here in Rebellion. Joe Anderson will be the number one contender for the TBW World Wing Championship. Jacob Young has screwed Russell Cooper. I can't believe it, Ross. I can't believe what I see with my own eyes. It's like Joe Anderson gained more power with Young being on the outside. Well, you saw what he had in his hands. He had an earned for God's sake. Look at him. The man in black. The man in black. The puppet master, Jacob Young. That an earned of our good God. Good God. This makes me sick. That lantern gives. Oh, God.
Joe Anderson, the power, what it seems. Yeah, all them salties be buried in there for God's sake. What else would it be? He's brought the lantern back. We've seen this in the past. Jacob Young, the puppet master, doing his cousin's bidding. I can't believe it with my own eyes. He's not done here yet. He's still not done here, Rebellion. Oh, come on. You, 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 you beat Cooper. What's left? Wait a minute, Ross. Wait a minute. Ah! Oh, my God. The spirit Cooper just turned inside out. I think Anderson and Young has collected the soul of the ringleader. Both these cousins here with a, like a fellow union of some sorts, Anderson and Young are back. And this time, darker than ever. Well, it looked like Joe Anderson was close to being finished off until Young, the man in black, walked out and held up that urn, that lantern, and it gave Joe Anderson power once again. And now Anderson will meet either Michaels or Jay Wild for the world title. After all this time, it seems like you're firmly ready to embrace the darkness. Welcome back to the family. I knew it! I bought God knew it! The innocent cones are back again! It's Manny Cobra! Finally, rebellion. It's the night, the day that shut little the little weasel down up and take everything from him. Today is the day I'll take that title away for that little boy. You wanna keep running your mouth, keep bringing my daughter into this. And you got the nerves to kick me in the head, leave me a scar and keep running your mouth. How you, how you the king of this division? You're not a king, man. You're just a scary cat. But tonight, if I lose, I will not able to forgive myself. I will not able to look at my daughter the same. I'll leave PBW. But I know for sure, tonight, hell's gonna break loose. Cause there ain't nobody stopping me. See you soon. Bold words with Cobra and now a real book commercial break. As always, go to RedBubbleShot.com TBW Merch today to buy your TBW Superstars merch. And ladies and gentlemen, we're back down at ringside. Josh Rawls, I can't believe what I just seen. Like you said, Young and Anderson back as a duo. The Cousins reunited once again here at Rebellion. And up next, folks, we got Manny Cobra taking on your king. Ah, boo. And here he comes. Manny Cobra, and it's a last man standing match, and the stipulation was followed. We saw the last rampage. If Cobra loses, he has to leave TBW. But if you're well, he better start getting his bags packed, Rawls. As I was saying, if your king loses, he has to bend the knee to the new hardcore king. Manny Cobra. And like you said, this is a last man standing match, which means Titan will be the last man standing because he's a man. That that guy right there is not no man. Manny Cobra is not a man. Never will be. He doesn't know the definition of being a man. He doesn't even know the definition of being a father. Well, you're disgusting. Anyway, the rules are simple. The man who cannot make it up to the 10 count loses the match. It'll be that guy right there, Ross.
Waiting on the arrival of Titan. King Titan. Are we doing this again? The king? King of what? <laughs> yeah. He is the king. The king of kings. The king of the world. The king of you. Just letting you know, Jordan. I didn't even know you Atomic Titan! We have not seen the Demon Crew, or excuse me, Demon Hardcore King, I should say now, since 2021 at Backyard Cows when he took on the general manager when he was the pain maker! Many Cobra might as well say good night. Oh, well, you knock him. Well, time will tell, as my broadcast colleague would say. This, it all boils down to when that man right there, that no good weekly snake, Mention the man's daughter, mention everything, the target Manny Cobra. Which he had every right to do, Rawls, every right. He was speaking facts, he was speaking the truth. And tonight, you're going to see Manny Cobra come to an end. Manny Cobra is going to pack his bags and hit the road. Well, time will tell, Cross. And let's get it on! Here we go, Cobra and Titan one on one. This could be the final encounter. And ladies and gentlemen, as you all know, this is a last man standing match. And the man that will be standing at the end will be the hardcore team, Atomic Titan. Well, you got your opinions, partner, and I got mine. And I say, this will be Cobra's night in victory. And we're back down at the ring. Looks like the Demon King is staring on at that worthless piece of crap. Oh, come on. Wait, worthless? Worthless? You're, you're a broadcast. <laughs> No, not this early on. No, what? it's not right, Ross. Not right. Anything goes. Last man standing. Two. Weapons can be used. Hell, even the kitchen sink. And I'll tell you right now, Ross, Manny Cobra will be packing the kitchen sink in his bags when he hits the road after this matchup. Oh, well, anyway, oh, there's a big knee right there. Time will definitely tell with your predicament. Nonetheless, Cobra is putting the venom, venomous like stops to the hardcore demon king. Manny Cobra is going to have to pull out all the stops here tonight in order for the demon king atomic titan to get a count of 10, which is not going to happen. Well, lock us in. Look at coming. Oh, big splash of there. Now look at Cobra now, Cobra. I would drive by with the boots. This isn't right. This isn't oh. right. He should not be able to get oh, the upper hand on my hardcore king. Well, he got the upper hand with that drop kick right there, that variation of a drop kick. Three. And now Cobra in full force right now. I can't tell you how happy I'm going to be whenever Manny Cobra leaves TBW here tonight. He leaves town. He's done. Sign Nora. Goodbye. Oh, oh, you make me sick. Oh, there's a kick by your king, and now your king is walking over. <laughs> Give him some more, Titan. Give him some more. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Well, you know, I got, I got some good. Hey, little cat, make you some things go. The quote the late Hank Williams, there might be a tear if you bet this match. Yeah, you wish, Ross. You wish. Get it, Cobra. Get it. I don't understand why you have so much. 
much hatred for that man right there, the king, Atomic Tyler. I don't understand. It's because you are no good, lousy commentator who does not know talent when he sees it. I'll tell you why I hate him. He's a no good, lousy, Weasley piece of filth. Why here, here comes the weapons. Now your hardcore king is getting the weapons. Now, as you say, business has picked up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Give me some back pay for that live privilege there. And here it comes. Tighten out. <laughs> Hit him again. Oh. Yes. And now our top okay, is disgusting. Yes. Oh, oh no, yeah. no, no. Oh. And now we get covered in y'all. Oh, yeah. Oh. Give it to him. No, Ross. Oh. Now this oh. is sick. I can't bear to watch my king get assaulted by that worthless man. He's not even a man. Assaulted? Assaulted? Are you kidding me? He asked for this. He asked for this? Yeah, right. He asked for it. It's been signed. What are you going to do about it? That's right. It's been signed. He did not ask for this matchup. Look at this duplex. He did not ask for this oh. matchup. It was that crooked oh. general manager who made this match official. It was the scheming, oh. the conspiracy oh. that's against Atomic Tiding. And it's just not right. And you and you sit here and say it's right. Mind boggles me. It makes me sick to the core, oh. Ross. Well, enough of your bickering and your oh. planning and moaning. And look, there's a suit we saw like this now. Cobra's got the kendo stick. No, no, no! Do it for the company! Do it for the title! Do it for your daughter, damn it! Of course you'd be saying all those things. I can't believe what I'm saying! No! Well, like I said, it's been signed. You can't change it. You can't go back on it. It's happening right now. Choke my damn life out of it! Yeah, you're right. I've already said it's been signed by that crooked general manager, Joshua Allen. He knows he's got a lawsuit on his hands. He knows he's about to lose what money he has left. Oh, yeah, here we go. How about last the GM and focus on this? Well, it was all because of that crooked GM, the reason why this matchup is taking place. And this assault, oh. wait a minute, no! Trying try to go over a kid, oh. he got met with that tiki torch. He grabbed oh. it, he's got the tiki torch. Swing, matter, matter, swing! Oh. Give it to him, oh. give it to him, Titan. Give it Should to be. him, make him pack his bags oh. and oh, go on. straight back to Puerto Rico. Oh. How so? He choking the line out of with that tiki torch. And uh, yeah, that's what it gets, Ross. I hope the life gets sucked right out of him. Ah! Oh, no! Reverse, reverse, and that cobra in the ground. And, oh, yeah! Give it to the Warriors, brains, and if he's got any. Oh. Oh. He's got more brains than you, Ross. More oh. than you'll ever think of. Oh, I'm sure he does. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, real class oh. from this champion ever since he had oh. this belt. I can't believe what I'm seeing with my eyes. An innocent man who is the number one guy in this promotion get conspiracized against. Number one. Oh, my heaven forbid. You are really lost at this point. It really tells you, Rawls, the, the jealous ones in this company. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Oh, you know, it's a fight. It's a battle, a gladiator like battle of these cookie sheet fans here. Oh, good, it's a battle of cookie sheets moments going on, oh, God. Hit him again! Hit him again! Oh, come on, this is disgusting! Yes! Atomic Titan knows exactly what he's doing. Atomic Titan is smart. Atomic Titan is wise. Atomic Titan is knowledgeable. He knows everything Boy. there is to know about this business, Ross. If he, if he, was, if he was smart, he wouldn't have mentioned what he's done in the past few weeks. <laughs> Which was smart. Everything Atomic Titan has done is smart. How are you? Oh, oh, Choke him out, Titan. Hey, Choke him out. Hey, ah, don't ah, that being smart. Ah, Mention a man's ah, poor daughter that had no business oh, being brought into this. Oh, the reason why oh. Atomic Titan brought her up was the fact because he was telling the truth, Ross. He was spitting facts when he said Manny Cobra is a deadbeat father. Oh, here, but anyway, we got a downpour here. The rain is in full effect, and it, it, it's not going to go good. Oh. These men with these conditions.
Nation. Like I said before, this is backyard wrestling at its finest. They are out there performing in the weather, whether it be raining or shining. They're not in some kind of building with air conditioning. This is outside, and this is what makes people like Atomic Titan the best. Oh, good. Hey, look at this now, Cobra. He's got Titan. Look at this now. He's got all his farmers, carry. No! Out. Get out of the Titan. Get out of it. Get out of it. Look out, Addy. Ah! He got him, and all right, Addy, to the good Roman oh. trash can. I can't believe what I see with my own eyes. It's pouring Ooh. rain. This is poetic. This is storytelling at its finest. I, well, the fight's something we can agree on oh. for once. In this whole broadcast oh, uh, uh, event tonight, ah. and Rev Charles is counting. Get up, Titan! Get up! It's going to take Six. more than that to put down the king. Get up! Get up! Titan is—he's not up yet. Oh. He, he, we got a replay here of this edge. Ah. And F you on the trash can. Hey, hey, right there, bam! And Atomic Ooh. Titan is still down. My king. Everyone's king, give him mercy because he gives everybody mercy. What mercy are you? Are you <laughs> Speaking of mercy, look what he's doing now. Oh, oh come on, good God. This is hated. Disgusting. He's got that steel trash can. Oh, come on now, not this. Here he goes, oh, Ross. Here this. he goes. A cannonball, a cannonball with a trash can right in front of Manny Cobra. Maybe it'll make Manny Cobra's face look better after this. Oh, good God. Look at DDT. A DDT to the One. ring. And ladies and gentlemen, it's a downpour here at Rebellion. Two. Well, you said it was very poetic, very fitting oh, for this, this last, the final Three. encounter between Cobra and Titan. The rain Four. adds so much more Don't to this yet. matchup, Ross. It definitely Burn. does. You can see the mat getting drenched with this downpour of rain here. Atomic Titan back onto his feet. Spine. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Spine of the pine. Spine oh. of the pine. Delivered by Manny Cobra, which just isn't right. Just who? Manny, oh for God's sake, folks, I apologize. My broadcast partner's discovery Three. comments. I apologize. Why must you apologize to your own propaganda? Propaganda? What is this, the media? NTK! <laughs> no! One. Rev Charles count one! This could be it! Two! Two. You gotta go for a ten count! Three. Three! Cobra's got that weapon in his hands! Wait a minute! Uh, Wait a minute! Uh, ah! Good God, the smack of that! He just assaulted One. the beautiful face of Atomic Titan! Well, it looks like Titan's gonna be on the cover Two. of this figurement week after this! <laughs> yeah, after your issue. What issue? Hey, I didn't hit him with that! You was the last month's issue. Oh, uh, you must be the first. And Three. here they go once more. Uh, Charles is counting. Wait a minute. No, no. What is he gonna do, Ross? DDT! A DDT! A DDT! No pinfalls, no submissions in this matchup, Cross. Like I said before, ladies Ooh. and gentlemen, this isn't right. Atomic Titan should head the night off here at Rebellion. Not off? Are you? He knew what he was getting himself into, ah. and I think it's justice. He's up! The demon! MTK! The inner demon! The MTK from Atomic Titan to Manny Cobra. Ah. He's going to set up that running knee of his. He's going to set up that running knee. That powerful, devastating Spot running knee. He hits it. it. Spot on. Spot on. Spot on. It's going to be a 10. Count, Charles. Count. Here's how he play that running knee right to the side of the face of Cobra. Count, Whoa. Charles. Count. This is going to be a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, 5, 6, Get up, 7, Cobra. 8, Get up. 9, 10. Oh, he's down. He's already down. I count on the 10. Oh, Cobra. You ain't ref if you if you serve this should be over and right quick. I've already counted to ten. I don't see no ref shirt on you. Come oh. on, oh, here comes a steel chair. He's got the chair. Oh. He's got the metal plates, the glass plates. Oh, there's the mat. Uh, what what's next? Like I said, we say like with the kitchen sink. Manny Cobra, Manny Cobra is grabbing the bat. He's got that bat in his hand. It looks
looks like he's preying on my poor atomic titan. Oh, you're you're a poor. Give me all. Oh, ah! <laughs> Tiki, Tiki to the legs. Tiki towards the legs of Cobra, for God's sake. Atomic Titan's back in the ring. He was smart, Ross. He was smart. He was waiting for that doofus. Oh, <laughs> anyway, back to this. In the corner is Cobra and Titan now working over him with these punches. Oh. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Oh yeah, give it to him! Do it! Do it! No! And now here's a taste of his own medicine! Get oh. it, Cobra! Do it! Man, and Cobra, I can't believe it! He's back on his feet! Oh, He's back on his feet! Well, and, you better believe it! And he just set that chair! Yeah. He just set that chair up in the middle of the ring! He's got that chair in the middle of the ring! It could not go Ooh. good for Cross is king! Of course it's not gonna go good! The only time it would go good if it was Manny Cobra getting smashed to that chair! Well, it sucks to be you, but I'm gonna lock it! Here it goes! Cobra's gonna give it to him! I'm not watching! Sidewalk slam! What happened? I didn't watch! Your, your king's back, map the chair with a sidewalk slam, and that chair is no longer in use. Count Charles slowly. Please count slowly. Oh, won't you kiss Titan's Three. feet for God? I've had enough of you. Somebody give me the broadcast partner. Four. Count slowly, Charles. Look at that chair. Oh, yeah. good thing I did not see what took place. I'm trying to fan off this buffoon next to me, folks. He's about to, he better have a meltdown. Look, Ross! Low blow! Anything goes, like you said at the beginning of this broadcast. Anyway, now fight for once, your king. That's right, anything goes. Yeah, you'd be cheering right now if it was Manny uh, Cobra doing the low blowing. Yeah, you would be. He didn't hit a low blow, did he? No. You hypocrite, that's all you are. Frog Flash, look at him coming. You're a hypocrite, Ross. Look out, it's he coming in there. Ah! No. That's gotta be One. The rest counting, the rest counting. Two. He's on three, he's fixing count three. Three! He's gonna go for one more! He's back on his feet, Rose! He's back on his feet! No! DK! No! No! One. No! One! This could be it! He's counting! No! Wait! He's picking him up, gonna spin another one! Haven't you done enough? This could be it! The final one! MTK! No! 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 Will you calm down? I can't believe what Two. I just seen! And oh, Charles is still counting away! Three. This right here tops all the conspiracies! Four. This could be it! This right here tops them all, Rawls! He's over! The king is done! He's finished! Ah. No! He's finished! He has life left in him! And Cobra's celebrating, but it ain't over yet, Cobra. Don't Seven. count your eggs until they have hatched, you fool. He, the referee is still counting away. Wait a minute, Ross. Eight. He's still counting. He's on seven. This could be it. Eight. The demon's over. Wait. Ah. This is ludicrous. This is game over. That is it. This is oh my goodness, Ross. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I'm about to shed some tears because this isn't right. This ain't right. Get a Kleenex, will you? Will you knock it off? Kings aren't supposed to fall. Kings. This is it! Seven! He, he's gotta get that ten! No! Nine! Is it? No! That's it! We got a new hardcore champion! And his name is Matty! No! Witness. And now the oh. rules. He's 
gotta bend that knee. The conspiracy, the top all conspiracies. This right here is not right. He's gotta bend the knee, Cross. It's okay. It's all right. Of course, it's all right. You like your own propaganda. You like what when things go your own way. Finally, finally, Cobra got the job done. What, what's this? Yes, yes, yes. Keep it tight. Keep it. He's got to do it. You know what Bob, his rules got to do? He's got to bow the knee and turn it over. No, no. He's doing no, it. No, no. For once, for once, he's done something right. Oh, I was worshiping a false god all along. Well, it's about time you walk up and your proper man is I can't believe you just did that. Well, the, the king has rooted his crown, so to speak, to Manny Cobra. Manny Cobra, the new hardcore champion. Oh, oh no! Well, as they say, Cross, all good things must come to an end, and it did for your king. Manny Cobra, the new TDW hardcore champ of the world. Bros, I can't believe it. I would have never imagined Atomic Titan bowing down to that worthless piece of crap, Manny Cobra. You know what I'm going to do for you, Cross? I'm going to get that picture framed for you, just for you, early Christmas gift. But folks, yeah, you know what would happen? I'd smash it around that big 10 gallon head of yours. But folks, we have a new. Hardcore champion, and his name is Manny Cobra. <laughs> oh no! It's TBW Rebellion, and tonight I defend this belt. And guess what? I'm walking out with this belt. <laughs> We gonna win that handicap Woo! match for Triple G. It's special. Woo! It's a handicap Woo! match. Let's be honest here. Let's be real honest. That's that right. Says. It's a handicap match. Jay Kosh <laughs> got his wish granted by the general manager by putting himself in this match as special guest referee. I'm still ticked by the fact that it's gonna happen. I mean, hey, uh, his generation does get handouts, participation trophies. Eminem did a whole ass song about it and a whole ass album about it. So, I mean, hey, you know what? J. Coach still has a lot to learn. A lot to learn. And speaking of a lot to learn, Robbie Andrews, my opponent tonight, how in the hell did he get number one contenders? I'm still, I'm still confuzzled. I mean, when you're like, you know, like the na nature. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look behind you. A rat just <laughs> yeah, walked see, up. Yeah, shut up as soon as the high roller walks into the scene. Uh, yeah, because I'm about to go puke up my food off camera. What are you high rolling? <laughs> you're huh? about to puke up your food because you're so nervous that I'm going to take that belt off the guy that you're with. It's going to be on my shoulder as I walk out of Rebellion tonight. You're new. Intercontinental champion. Look, you can wear all the cheap party city suits you want, <laughs> but it doesn't change the right. fact that you are not touching this. You are not getting anywhere near this. Listen, just because they don't make suits this drippy in your size, fatty, doesn't mean that this came from party uh, city. You uh, see, you okay. gotta wear suspenders to hold your own pants up. Uh, no, it's holding something else up and you ain't gonna come close to that. You, you still have yet to learn your old buddy Kenny Rogers old saying. When to walk away and when to follow him tonight, you'll learn that. Because you will walk <laughs> away empty-handed if that J. Coach comes. Boys. Boys. Speaking of you. <laughs> let's settle this in the ring tonight like real men. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. I'm the special whoa, whoa, guest whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I whoa. was told this is an intergender match because he ain't no man at all. Yo, listen. All I know is we're on the same page about this. Neither one of us wants you to be the special guest ref. All I'm saying is you better call it down the middle. Down and, the whenever middle. Get, and whenever I get you better call it down the middle. Two, three, it better be my hand Help raised me. with that IC belt on my Help me, me! It's definitely me. Woo! Woo! You'll be raising my hand, pal. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> my hand will be it's raised gone. in the air. Gonna be seeing, and that's buddy. something you get can bet on. Get out here, Chump Johnny Jack Guarantee. We walking out with the dub, baby. And folks, up next, the stage is set for the Intercontinental Championship match as Dave Swerve defends against the high of the Robbie Andrews with the special guest referee, Jay Coach. And Ross, we seen on the last episode of Rampage where Coach walked up to that crooked general manager and asked him if he could be the special guest referee in his next matchup. 
Well, Big Mouth, we heard Allen say it. He put a call right in the middle. Can he trust Jay Coles? That's right, Rawls. He did tell Jay Coles to call this matchup straight down the middle. Now that's my question. Will Jay Coles do the right thing? And speaking of Jay Coles, here he comes. Here he is, the special guest referee. The it factor, Jay Coles. Right who both of my who both of them might say should be. Bill Carlo champion after what happened at number seven. That is correct, Rawls. He did have a number one contenders match against Robbie Andrews, and Robbie Andrews cheated his way to the victory in that matchup. So I can guarantee it's going to be a personal vendetta against between Andrews and Flair for Jay Cole. That absolutely could be true, Rawls. Could be true. Let's go, baby. So, but in the way, that man Good right roll. there is going to get the one, two, three for somebody. Will it be it's Andrews be or will it be Gage Flair? And it. the question is, will he call it straight down the middle? And many questions, folks. Many, many questions. And now, folks, the challenger. Here he comes. The high roller. You got me. He's trying to hide the shoes. He's coming baby. down the aisle. It's top here in rebellion. Wearing his suit of cards. He must he must have won big bucks in the black check to help him get that suit. Yeah, I seen on the TBW exclusive where that guy right there won high money at that gambling casino he was at. Well, he must have got the big buck for that shoot. He's rolling the dice. He's rolling the dice. Will he be rolling his odds? <laughs> well, he's, he's going to roll them, or it could be a fold. You busted your That's why you're not here right now. That's why you got the ref shirt Robbie on. Andrews will be looking for the gold. The gold in this matchup, which is the Intercontinental TBW Championship belt. Which is held by... The limousine run, jet flying, kiss stealing, wheeling, dealing, son of a gun, the nature boy, Gage Flair. And here he comes, Rawls. Here he comes. I guarantee Johnny J will be in tow at that ringside, and there he is. <laughs> here they are at Rebellion, Nature Boy, Gage Flair, and Johnny J. And I was saying, what's it all saying again, Rawls? Look at the ass, we're style. Look at the ass, we're profile. And the nature boy, Gage Flair. He stated on the last episode of Rampage that he will walk out as the Intercontinental Champion. Well, with Johnny J at ringside, we know Johnny J always plays a factor. Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, Ross. Hey. And a little bit of disrespect for Jay Coles. Jay Coles just dropped the ropes of Flair. Well, well, you know, Coles is a pig of the H. That's for sure. And Flair is already arguing with Jay Coles already early on in this matchup. This kiss is not going to look good for either one of them. And let's get out of the way. Look at it up. Right there. He forgot to say a new Intercontinental Champion after this match. That's right. Right there. Woo! Gives you for good luck, sir. Gives you for good luck, sir. Yes, sir. Woo! Woo! And Rawls, there's your special guest referee for tonight's matchup. And like I said, this could, this could go, right go right bad right. or it could go good for either one of those men, Robbie Andrews or Gage Flair. The only calls is the one man that's going to hit that one, two, three for either Andrews or Flair in this championship match for the IC title. He's asking both men if they're ready, and there goes the bell. This matchup is underway. Robbie Andrews won that number one contenders matchup against Jay Coles many episodes ago. And then Flair, a little bit of receipt with that briefcase and poker chips to Andrews. And but now it's all come down to this. Flair, Andrews, 
He's got him in the corner, and J. Cole's told him to back off. Well, J. Cole's doing the right thing. There's a woo now, Flair strutting his stuff. Here they go once more. Now the collar, elbow tie up. Look at Flair. He's got him, Rawls. He's got him. Got that headlock and a headlock takeover. Down goes Andrews. What a takeover by Nature Boy Gage Flair. He's not letting Andrews get the upper hand. He's holding the arm down of Andrews. Oh, that's oh, the dirty play of the game. I love Cole Shaw that. A straight to the eyes on Andrews. Right to the eyes did Gage Flair. Looks like Flair and Andrews squared off. Off once again, and ladies and gentlemen, this is for the Intercontinental oh, Championship matchup. Oh, a test of strength! Oh. Test of strength, and oh, oh. <laughs> vintage oh. Flair with the woo, the hair, oh. and the strut. He just wooed at Jay Coach, and the call, he's gonna go for it again. Test of strength, and there they go, Roz. Can Flair get it? Can Flair get it? Oh. He's got it. He's got it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, Andrews! Oh. Down goes Flair. Down goes Flair. Oh. Andrews is working on Flair. Oh, he's, he's working him over at the front. Caught by being like, keeping a close eye. Oh. A kick to the midsection. Oh, what a shot there! That multiple fist. And now he's punching away on Flair. Oh man, those right fists did some damage. I think Colt is standing back. Let these two go at it. And Flair's back up, Ross. Flair's back up. Here they go once more. Look at Johnny J on the outside. Johnny J on the outside. Going to play a factor. Call him on time. Get to get by Flair and Andrews. Andrews has got Flair in the corner. He's got Flair in the corner, Ross. And he's got him in the corner. Look at this. Oh, wait a minute. Woo. All in to Robbie Andrews. Lefts and rights. Lefts and rights. Deliver by Flair. Wait a minute. Andrews blocked the punch. Andrews sweeps the legs. Look at this now. He's going to roll that dice. Oh, wait a minute, Ross! Oh, oh, Flair just got hit in the midsection. Oh, and down goes Flair. Down goes Flair. Down goes Flair. Flair just got snake eyes. He's begging for mercy early on in this matchup. Going to the other turnbuckle. Flair's in the turnbuckle. Oh, wait a minute. Robbie Andrews gets blocked. Reverse, reverse. Woo! What a powerful chop to look by Flair. Oh, and a second chop. And now he's, he's lined up that chest. Oh, and Flair taking it right to Andrews. Look at Flair. Oh, wait a minute, Ross. Oh, Sturdiest player in the game. Right up the full fight. Oh, he's getting in Coach's face. He's arguing with Jay Coach. He's arguing with Coach. Flair's coming back. He's coming back. Oh, what another chop. This is chopped to the chest. Another chop there. And Flair is locked up that chest. And he's split out. A reversal. A reversal. Coming back. Oh, what a close line. Close line by the high roller. Another close line. Robbie Andrews, he's got Flair, he's got Flair, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Ross! Look at this! Oh! A back body dropped by, my, by Flair! What a back body drop there by the next boy, Gage Flair, can Flair get the pin coverage? Pinball, here it is! One, two, oh, come on, Coles! Well, Coles didn't make the count! He made the, here's a replay! It's like he's trying to go for a sleeper hold or some kind of maneuver there. Flair was able to maneuver out of that sleeper hold by Andrews. Well, they back body drop right onto the high roller. Look at Jay Coles arguing with Johnny J. <laughs> Jay Coles arguing with Johnny J. He needs to keep his eyes on what's going to happen right in the ring. He, and Flair is still arguing with Coles. Coles just told Flair that he would throw out Johnny J. Well, he's got the ball. Oh! oh. oh. And now look at it. Oh, not again. Oh! Bread basket. Right in the back, like you said, the bread basket. There goes Andrews. And Andrews now doing it like he can do the ground. Flair. That's smart. That is smart, Ross. Very smart. Andrews going to the second rope, Ross. Get him with that clothesline. Yes, it is. Flying close on the second rope. What a flying clothesline. Can he get the pin coverage? Come on. One, two, oh, only a two, only a two. Jay Coach counts to two. Off the middle rope, and I, I tell you, Cross, whether you like him or you don't, Andrews is putting a fight to Flair. And you know Flair already stated a rampage that he wanted Coach in this matchup here tonight at Rebellion. Well, he, well, Coach is the referee. Can't think about it now. Coach is the special guest referee. And he's got Flair back onto his feet. Robbie Andrews and Flair, they're punching and chopping away here in the middle of the ring. 
And down goes Flair. Flair's back up. Rawls flares back up. Look out, Andrews. Flair's back up. Oh, down goes Flair again. Flair's back up. Wait a minute. Oh, oh what a punch by Andrews. Robbie Andrews has brought his A game here tonight. He is going to cash in, possibly cash in and take the gold home here tonight at Rebellion. He's got him with the breakthrough claw. That's payback. That's receipt. He sends Robbie Andrews off. He's coming back. What a back elbow. Back elbow by Flair. Back elbow. And there he goes, that signature knee drop. That signature knee drop yeah. there by Flair. He dropped by Flair on the Andrews. Yeah. Flair's picking Andrews back up. And ladies and gentlemen, like I said, this is for the Intercontinental title belt here tonight, Rebellion. Who will walk away? And that's if Jay Coles will call it down the middle. And Flair punches away on Andrews. And he's a chop now. Andrews is a oh! chop block. Chop block by Flair. You know what's going to you know yeah! happen next, Rawls? You know what's going to happen next? That legendary figure four leg lock. And that's possibly what he'll be going for next. Here it is. He's going to get it locked in. Can he get it locked in? Ah, figure four. Figure ah, four. Ah, He's got the figure ah, four ah, leg walk. Lock ah, in. Ah, Will ah, Robbie ah, Andrews submit? Ah, well, he's got it locked ah, in. Ah, Andrews is getting, ah, getting to the ropes just yet. Andrews is doing whatever he can. Whatever he can. Is he going to flip it or will he crawl to the ropes? Wait a minute. He's going to flip it. He's going to flip it. Flair rolls him back over. He's thrown back over. The uh, is back no, over. No, rope break, no, rope break. No, Robbie two, Andrews has the rope. Three. Come on, Coles, do something. Robbie Andrews had enough strength to roll over the figure four leg walk, but Flair was able to capitalize. Are you good to continue? Flair able to capitalize. What a figure four predicament that was. It looks like Flair's going to call it quits. Oh, come on. Well, this could be a smart thing, but I don't know how smart it could be. Flair's done. He's telling Coach he is done. Flyers, and he's out of here. He said, F this, we need to get this match. <laughs> well, I, I don't want to see it that way, but well. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. Robbie Andrews. Robbie Andrews. Look at that. He's going after him. Andrews is going after him. Wait, he just blocked him with Johnny J. Wait a minute. Andrews got Flair. Andrews got, he got it back in the ring. Andrews just threw Flair back inside the ring. Andrews now back in the ring. Flair is trying to walk into this thing. Oh! Wait a minute, Jake Hoes is interfering. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! This must be a third call! Jake Coles show Flair! And Flair is pissed! Look out! Good guy, come on now! Flair almost threw a right fist! He, he can throw up this whole match! Flair almost threw a right fist, but look at Andrew! Coach counted fast, Ross. He, he's not calling this right down the middle. What the hell is happening? I don't know what's going on. What in the hell is going on here? Huh? Robbie Andrews and Flair looking at huh? each other once again. Robbie Andrews getting thrown into the corner by Flair. Oh, the chop, the chop shit again. He's got Robbie Andrews How's once again. Coach? Wait a minute. He's oh. Oh, got another great break. Is that legal? Oh. He's huh? testing Jay Coach. Flair is testing Jay Coles. He's testing Coles. He's testing me, dude. Look at this. Oh, one, two. What is that? Oh, come on, Coles. What? He, he, this close. That's an outright yeah. lie. So cool. He told Charles yeah, Rollins like he was going to call it right to the middle. He's not doing that now, is really? he? Really? And really? he wasn't going to disqualify Flair for that low blow. That wasn't What is happening here? He isn't going to let Flair off the hook. That's what's happening. He's throwing the rule book out the window. Flair's going to the top. He's to the top. Wait a minute, Ron. Off the top goes Flair. Flair just got thrown off the top by the high roller, Robbie Andrews. Robbie Andrews has got that left leg of Flair. Wait a minute, Ross. Look out, look out. Oh, he's got that leg right there. Good God. He's working on that left leg. Can Flair get the Yeah, he's got the rope. Come on, Coach. Look at Coach. He's just talking trash. Coach is barely counting. What's going on? He 
Jay through the roof. Uh, Look out the window. Uh, what Daniel the heck is going on here? You're right. Daniel Jay Coach has thrown the rule book right out the window. Proverbial window. Daniel and the player get back to his feet. Robbie Andrews, uh, he's uh, sending him off. Look out, it coming. Shoulder tackle. Shoulder tackle. What a tackle. Coach, come on. What is that? <laughs> what? What is going on here, Ross? What is going on? You killed the kid. Oh, come on. That is ridiculous. Robbie Andrews is frustrated, Coach. Just, wait a minute. Coach just chopped Robbie Andrews on the chest. You can't do that. I can't believe what's going on. Wait a minute. Oh, he switched the legs. He switched the legs. Figure four. Figure four. He's got that figure four locked in. He's got the figure four locked in. Figure four locked in. Come on, he's got the ropes, Coach. Screw you. Flair is holding the ropes. Applying the pressure. What's Coach doing here? I don't know. I don't know. This makes me this is ridiculous. Jay Coach just watching. I can't believe what I'm saying. What kind of a you know is this? Flair is ticked. Robbie Andrews submitted, and Jay Coles didn't do a thing about it. What the heck was that? Flair is irate. How would you be too? He's questioning Coach. Oh, there's another shot. He's got Coach. Oh, come on, it's ridiculous. Look at me. Oh, King of the Mid-Side, you look at this. It's time for a Royal Flush. Flair's got his leg. Reverse. What a counter. What a counter. Flair was able to capitalize and counter that Royal Flush. And now he's got the right leg of Robbie Andrews, Ross. What a Royal Flush. It's going to be a flush. It's a Royal Gun. Look at Coach. Coach was counting. Coach was counting Robbie Andrews' shoulders on the mat. Well, what in the world? And you know, Johnny J is, is sweating bullets on the outside. What in the world is going to happen to us and everything now? We see fast counts. Oh, Flair, but he's going to Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What in the world? What Andrews now. Robbie Andrews was able to reverse the flare buster. And look what he's got. Look what he's got stitched in. He's got a Boston Crab. Boston Crab. He's got that Boston Crab locked in. He's and Coach isn't jacket. paying attention. Coach doesn't care. And when I pay attention, come on now. Coach is now counting. Oh, gosh. This is the most impartial special guest referee I ever saw in my life. Coach is screwing both Flair and Robbie Andrews in this matchup uh, here tonight. That might have been his plan all along, Cross. Possibly. He had a vendetta, that's for sure. Flair begging for more. Wait a minute. Royal flush. Royal flush. Let's try it again. Ah! <laughs> the end kick. The end kick out of nowhere. The end kick. The end kick. Look Get at Look at Coach! Wait a minute, oh! My coach, he helped up Flair! What is Coach doing, Ross? He, he helped him throw it up Andrews! Flair Buster! Ah! Flair Buster! <laughs> Flair just got a Flair Buster on Andrews! Can this be it? Wait a minute! It's a super kick! Johnny J! Head kick! Head kick to Johnny J! He just kick Johnny J! Count one! Two! Oh, come on, hurry up! It would have been a three! It would have been a three! It looked like Coles was trying to help out! Out of nowhere! Out of nowhere! Oh no, sorry, he's the end kick! Everyone has just been delivered a end kick! Delivered by Jay Coles! Look at this replay! Look at the foot! Oh my gosh! Could it be a no contest? Can he count out both? Oh, Can it be a draw? Oh, Everyone be has I'm suffered serious. an it kick. Flair oh. could have already won this matchup twice, Rawls. Twice. And look at Jay Coach. He's looking at the belt. What? Well, it's, it's uh. going to be in. Jay Coach is playing all along. You're very well right, Rawls. This could be his plan all along. But look at look at Andrews. Oh, back up. Look at him. Oh, oh, figure four. He's got that figure four. He's got the figure four cinched in. It's locked in. Figure four locked in. It's no doubt. The third figure four in this matchup, Rawls. Third figure four. It's a good tap. It's a good tap. 
Will he submit? Will he submit? Will Coach? Will Coach call it down the middle finally? Will he call it? He's tapping. He's tapping the bell. He's ring the bell. Coach just called it. Flair has won this matchup by the figure four leg lock. And your winner by submission is Gage Flair. Flair is still the IC champion. I can't believe what I see, Ross. Coach screwed both Robbie Andrews and Flair over in this matchup. Well, I can guarantee that our team. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! What in the world was that? I look out! The Infector! What is going on, Ross? Well, turn up the fire, but it looks like Coles gets, gets the last of, last of this chapter here. I can't believe what I just seen, Ross. He delivered the it factor and an it kick to Flair and Robbie Andrews both. And let me just say it this way. Flair could have won this matchup early on. I can guarantee you that John Rowland, our GM, is not happy at Jay Coles. And why would you think he wouldn't be? I can't believe what I just seen. What a great, what a great intercontinental matchup, but not called down in the middle. Wait a minute, well, look at this, though. look at this. Everybody give it up for him. Well, he's raising the hand of Andrews. Oh! 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 Jay Coach has just shown the TBW universe what he thinks of Flair and Andrew. This robbery is not over yet, bro. This robbery, as you always say, just picked up. It just picked up before. I, I guarantee that. Yeah, I believe Coach still wants the IC title. He was wronged. I mean, in his eyes, wronged of it. It's it's over again. If you look closely, Rawls, Coach kept looking at that intercontinental belt. That's what he wants. Coach didn't care about calling this matchup down the middle. He wants that belt. <laughs> look who finally, look who finally decided to show up. No, neither one here. You hold this. Neither one of you deserve to hold that for me. Neither one. You lost yours. You lost your match. <laughs> we don't lose. We don't lose. And I'll get to you later. Don't think just because you're big. Don't think because you had that title of commissioner before. You're here for a reason with me. <laughs> So don't step to me. You'll answer to me later. But Alan Michaels, the trendsetter, <laughs> the Jesus freak, he's always like, I got 999 on my side. Well, I've got 666 on mine. And I got family. They better be out there. All of you better be out there. Because that light that he always looks at, he understood what I was talking about yesterday. I can see the fear in his eyes. And what do we? We make people fear. We make them bleed. And we make them suffer. I do want to ask you guys a question because it's really been bothering me here lately. My head's been getting a little twisted. I don't know if it's the chair shots from the woo man. I, I gotta, I gotta understand. I am your father, correct? You do love me, don't you? <laughs> don't you? Yeah. Don't you? You love me? <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. Just tonight, Alan Michaels. He's gonna burn. He's gonna pay. No screw ups. No nothing. This is this new pay per view. The boss man's calling rebellion. He wants to see a band of rebels and misfits. He's going to get it tonight in the main event. Let's do what we do best as a unit, as a family. Make them fear. Make them burn. And make them understand who we are. Let's go. Go. Trendsetter. Last warning. You step in this ring. You're going to be put into pieces and buried. Devilish words there by the champion.
Hello, I'm Troy Scott, joining Josh Ross here for the main event. Coming up next, Alan Michaels versus Jay Wall for the TVW World Heavyweight Championship. It's time for the main event, Scott. It is Alan Michaels challenging Jay Wild for the world title. And it's time, folks. It's main event time here at Rebellion. It all boils down to this. Alan Michaels challenging the brother Jay Wild for the world's heavyweight championship belt. This man said he has been doubted his whole life. Come on, let's go. He has been doubted, but he made it to Division I football. He made it to TBW, and tonight he claims he is going to win the TBW World Heavyweight Championship. Can he get the job done, Ross? You know, ever since he, ever since he got, the, got the opportunity to challenge through this, no fear in the eyes of Alan Michaels, no fear whatsoever going up against Jay White here tonight this main event. And here comes the TBW World Heavyweight Champion. This is the music of the most devastating faction in TBW right now, the Prophecy, the family. And there's Jinx. There's the princess of the Prophecy, Jinx. Now there is the Prophetic son. There's the caretaker beast, and the last man to rent in her is going to be the leader of this whole group. That is the prophet, j -Wall. We seen last week that beast appeared at the very end of the show, saying he had words to express to the fans of what j -Wall told him to do. But we seen moments ago them backstage, and j -Wall was in their face telling him not to step up to him. He is their leader. He is their savior. And tonight, he will once again try to prove that he deserves the TBW World Heavyweight title. And you see the caretaker beast and cow that go to the back. And you see Jinx accompanying her father to ringside in this main event match up here against Alan Mock the Trend Center. This is Jay Wild's first title defense since he won at Anniversary 7 on our last event. And tonight, he has a big challenge ahead in Alan Michaels, which is Russell Cooper's best friend. Yeah, we've seen many rampages of Cooper yeah, really. helping out his best friend here, Alan Life Michaels, dark, huh? and doing the same. Last time we saw Michael on 166, he got that mess in his face. Yes, he did. And tonight, we seen Joe Anderson defeat Russell Cooper. Joe Anderson is now the number one contender for the world heavyweight title. He will either meet Alan Michaels or Jay Wild in the future. Now let's listen to introductions. Qualify me until the match starts. All right, boys, Gene Carter. This matchup will be Friday, underway Friday. in just a moment, and he's asking him if he's ready. Back. Jay Wild is in Charles' in the face, the referee. Second ready. referee ready. commander, referee Carter, referee Charles. Let's referee get this whole man, oh, this whole event. And now let's get it on at main event time. Alan Michaels versus Jay Wild for the TBW World Heavyweight Title. Here we go, both men, Michaels and Wilde, circle each other. Here we go, call up on tie up. Calling up on tie up right here by both men. Alan Michaels uh, up in the street right here on Jay Wild, pushing him in the corner. Ref Charles counting. Oh my God. Do your job and get him out. Alan Michaels using the strength to his advantage against Jay Wild. to psych him out here, Scott. And now, both men circling once again. 
waiting for their moment to go in for another collar and up a tie up. Oh wait, Jaywalk goes under. He goes under, he's got a waist lock. He's got that waist lock locked on Alan Michaels. Oh my gosh, wait, can Alan Michaels go? Wait, he's get, he got out of it. Good transition right there. Waist lock by oh. Michaels. Oh. Down to the canvas goes Jaywalk. Down to the canvas and now he's got it. In a hold right here, no. like a choke hold. Oh, oh wait, now he rolls. Nice mat technique there by Alan Michaels. Let's get a little bit technical here, Scott. This is interesting from the, from the side of Alan Michaels. Do a little bit of technical prowess here in this match. It has, and now Jay Wallet is in the corner after that. He had the ropes. Alan Michaels wouldn't let go. Michaels wouldn't let go, and now uh, Jay Wild back up to a vertical base on his feet. Yes, he is. Both men circling each other once again. Ross calling up a tie up once again. Calling up a tie up by Michaels and Jay Wild yet again. Jay Wild using strength right there, having to use all he has. Oh, that overhand chop to the chest. To That's push him to the corner. Oh, oh my God. Oh, good. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Both, both double hands overhead to chop. Oh. oh, my chest is burning from here, Ross. That's gonna hurt. Axe hand away, he gets it, but it's blocked sort of. Now punches by Alan Michaels. Both and Alan oh. Oh. by Michaels. I would not want to feel that right there on my chest by those big hands of Alan Michaels. It's like a frying pan meeting your chest here, Scott. And now Jay, uh, Jay Wild is on the outside. Taking a breather or something after Alan Michaels chopped the heck out of him. Well, both men, have been, they, they did some chops of their own here, Scott. You know what? I hope Alan Michaels defeats Jay Wild here tonight. Well, we know the princess from the outside, there should always be a factor psyching out the opponents. You are correct. Now, Alan Michaels waiting on Jay Wall to get back into the ring. He better get back in and get back in fast. Yes, and now Jay Wall's back in. Alan Michaels distracted. Oh, oh distracted by Jinx on the outside. I don't know if it was by Jinx. He was looking down. I think he was taking a breather, but now these forearms to the, to the head of Alan Michaels and a bulldog. Bulldog there by J.Y. out of the corner. For the cover, one, two. two. Oh, oh, not two. that easy to take down the trendsetter. Out, wait, one, two. two. Oh, not two. just yet. Not just yet. Now let's take a replay of what happened moments ago. Here's these forearms to the face of Alan Michaels, which led into a bulldog. Bam! Right there, face first goes to the canvas. Now, Jay Wall back to his feet. Axe handle to the back of Alan Michaels. Oh. Axe, axe handle to the back to Michaels there. The disrespect. On, he's he's on stepping on the back of his neck. It's, oh, this elbow! Is this is heinous. This is disgusting, Ross. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. Oh wait! Oh, oh my! The senton, the senton. Oh my gosh! That must have hurt. All the weight of J. Wall on the back. That had to take all the breath out of Alan Michaels. Yeah, but how much damage you do to J. Wall? Now J. Wall. He's got what a headbutt. What a headbutt. A headbutt. He's good grief. That's like a cement block at you. Oh, there's a chop there. Jay Wow. Oh, he's multiple chops. Multiple oh. chops here. Oh, once again. And, uh, God, that overhand. Can you imagine the sound of that? Oh, and now, wait. Oh, reverse, reverse, reverse. Look out. Oh, get the reverse by Jay Williams. Oh, oh. what a big boot. What a boot. Big boot. Oh, wait, wait. Alan Michaels reverses. Reverse. Oh, blue thunderbomb. Blue thunderbomb. One, two. Oh. Two. The champion two. is still in this. Alan Michaels has to do more Who's to that? keep in this matchup to defeat on, Jay Wild. What a blue thunderbomb there, but. Here's a replay, goes for a kick, goes misses. For boot. Miss, miss that kick, boot, look at that. The blue thunderbomb, Dallin Michaels. One, two, right there, and he kicked out. Two. And it's, it's early in, folks. What is gonna, 
One of these men is going to walk oh. out with the World Heavyweight title, the richest prize in TBW history. Will it be Alvin Michaels oh. or will it be Jay Wall? I, I don't know who it will be, Ross, but both men are on the outside. And I cannot believe what has transpired so far. Oh. Alan Michaels just reversed that kick into a blue thunder bomb. Oh. What a blue thunder bomb that was there, Scott. Now, referee Charles. Come on, Proud. Get out of the way. It's, both, somebody better get up. Six. Referee counting. Both men trying to get back to their feet. Looks like Seven. Michaels is trying to get back to a vertical base. Yes, he is. Is J Wild still on the outside? Yes, he is. There we see Wild. Wild won't pass the camera there. And now Alan Michaels is back to his feet. J Wild. Is he gonna walk out? Uh, we already saw Flair try this earlier, moments ago. He needs to get in the ring. What is the champion doing? He's trying. It's mind game. Look, he's grabbing the bell. He's walking out. This is not. Come on, Michaels. Oh, he's chasing after him. Get him. Get him. Yes. He's he trying to lead the lead this match. Oh, yes, throw him back in there. Give him a beating of a lifetime. Go for the cover. One. Oh, kick out. How close. How close is that? I cannot believe my eyes. Well, you better believe it, Scott. A one count. That was only a one. Now he's got him in a chokehold right here. He's got that choke applied right around the chin and the throat. Can he make Jay Wild pass out here? Wait. Wait a minute, he's got him locked in. Wild trying to get back up to his feet. Wild is trying to get back up. Can Alan Michaels keep this locked in? He's got it locked in so far. Oh, wait, he's getting, wait. Alan Michaels, they're back to their feet. Oh, this can't be good for Alan Michaels. Oh! Elbows right, right in the midsection, right in the stomach area. And now, oh, knee to the gut. Wait, picks him up. Wait, oh! Chop block by Jay Wild. Chop block to Jay Wild on to Alan Michaels there. A little bit of a last effort resort. Yeah, I cannot believe that just happened. What a reversal by the world champion. Now he's stomping on Alan Michaels. Alan Michaels has to get back to his feet, Ross. And now Jay Wild in full control. He just targeted that leg right there by applying a fist to the back of the leg. Alan Michaels become the one-legged man in ass kicking contest. But now Jay Wild is gonna get real cocky, real arrogant now that look out! Oh! You seen the knee the connect knee right to the face of Alan Michaels, and now he's up top. Oh, Prophet! What a splash! Prophet splash! One, two, two. oh! oh. Kick out by Alan Michaels. He is still in this. What a knee lift followed up by it splash oh. off the middle rope. Here's that splash and bam, right there. Yeah, what a splash. One, two, and a kick out right there, Ross. I cannot believe my eyes. And now both men trying to get back to their feet. Both men trying to get back to their feet at a vertical base. Alan Michaels is on his knee trying to get to the, uh, trying to get up. He's on one knee now. Jay Wallet is basically on the outside. He's on the apron. Jay Wallet he is he's trying to get up. Jay Wild now finally he's on the outside. And now Michaels is, is still on that one knee, not moved yet. You are correct. Jay Wild's getting back in right here. Wait a minute! Oh! oh right between the red A right hot right. shot right there. Right between the acorns. And just like that, Alan Michaels is back in it. This could be it right here, Ross. He's setting up for the trigger. He's gonna go for the trendy trigger! Trendy trigger right here! Michaels needs to know the ring awareness right there, the ring psychology. He should have put him in the middle of the ring. He should have, but I don't think he didn't have enough energy left. And that costed Alan Michaels right there. That could have been it.
That could have been. It very Ooh. well true could have been. What a match so far for the TBW World Heavyweight title. What a rebellion show. What a show uh, all together. It has been a great show all now. What a Jay, Jay Wild stomping and working on the leg of Alan Michaels. Oh, driving the kneecap right into the canvas. I cannot believe what I have seen here tonight at Rebellion. Oh, a, a single leg Boston crab there flying now. Get up. To Jay Wilder, Get up. Alan Michaels. Yeah, single Get leg up. Boston crab. Can he make out? He's trying to push him to the middle of the ring to get Alan Michaels away from the ropes. Yeah, I think Jay Wilder might have it. He might have it. But wait, no. Oh, flips him off of it. The Samson like strength of Alan Michaels. I cannot believe all that strength oh, Alan Michaels yeah. just put on the J Wild right there and made him flip. And now Charles counting away. One man's got to win with it be a pinfall or submission. Both men trying to get back to their feet, Ross. Trying to. The key word is trying to, Scott. Who will walk out of rebellion as the TBW oh. World Heavyweight Champion? It could be either of these men. The winner will get to meet Joe yeah. Anderson in the future, but since he's the number one contender for the world title. Indeed so. We know in the, in the rear view mirror awaits Joe Anderson and... Oh, oh good God, we're playing. Oh, back and forth right here. You are right, Joe Anderson and Jacob Young. But right now, Alan Michaels and Jay Wild punching back and forth, trading blows. Oh, punching back and forth. Look at this now, Jay. Oh, oh here he goes. Alan Michaels oh, can barely God. stand up. Oh, power bomb! Pop up, power bomb! Pop up, power bomb by Alan Michaels, and Jay Wild is down. He has to get to the cover. Wait, no! Oh, and he let the ring awareness you said, Scott, roll to the outside. He just rolled to the outside, Jay Wild. That was very smart of the world champion. Very smart indeed. Here's a replay. Gonna close out with the abyss, but no, he counted him up. Pop up power bomb. You are correct. That was a pop up power bomb, devastating by Alan Michaels. Ooh. But Jay Wild rolled up out of the way onto the outside. Referee Charles counting away. And if you're joining us right now, we are in the main event of Rebellion. Thank you for tuning in here tonight. Where you may be all over the world, we thank you for tuning in here at Rebellion. This is the main event match of the broadcast. Michaels, Wild, World Title. One of these men is going to meet Joe Anderson here in the near future. You are correct. Oh, what a forearm right there by Alan Michaels and Jay Wild. What a forearm shot there by Alan Michaels and Jay Wild. Both men on the outside, but wait a minute. What's Jay Wild doing right here? Oh, oh. oh. Oh my gosh! Play drop from the apron! Oh my gosh, my neck is hurting after that. Probably my face, I can feel the pain that Alan Michaels is feeling. Here's a replay of the leg drop. Oh! Leg drop from the apron, that could be all. And now, Jay Wild back inside. He's trying to get Alan Michaels back to his feet. He's trying to look to finish it here very soon. He's trying to do everything he can. Alan, my, and the both men are back up now. Wow, Scott Michaels, look out, oh, look out. Oh, is it. In the corner. He's coming back. The oh, oh look, look, splash, what a splash there. The splash, wait a minute. It looks like, Mike, what is wait, Michaels doing? He looks like he's going to the top. Wait a minute. We have never seen this before. He's pulling out all the stakes here tonight, but Jay Wild, is back up and he doesn't even notice it. Oh, he no. doesn't even notice him. This could cost Alan Michaels right here. This is, uh, I wouldn't even try it. He can't even get to the middle uh, rope. Oh! Jay Wall right across the back with the fist. But he's up there. Oh no! Oh my gosh, no! This could tip the Richter scale! Oh my god, oh, choke slam! An avalanche choke slam out the middle rope! That could be it, Ross! That's gotta be it! That could be it! That could be Good. it! That's gonna be all. Both men are out. J Rod has to get to the cover, but does Alan Michaels have anything left in him after that Three. choke slam from the middle rope? Michaels is down, not moving Four. at all. 
And now J Wall trying to get to the cover right here. Can he get there? He's crawling. He's crawling. One, two, three. And that's out the way. Choke slam from the middle rope. J Wall is still, still the world champion. Look at this replay, though, Ross. This choke slam from the middle rope. Oh my God. And after that, right there, the lights went out. One, two, three. Well, we, do, we know now, Scott, here in the near future, it will be. Anderson and Jay Wild for the world title. Who knows when and where that could take place. Heck, it could even take place on. next week on Rampage. Come on. Well, if our GM, Charles Rowan, can book it up, it'll happen. Yeah. You never know. Oh, he's calling for the family to come out. Oh, come on. You've done your damage. You retained your title. What now? Oh, here comes... Here comes Chaotic. Bring him down. Chaotic, oh, and now here comes Beast. Oh! Picking up the scraps. This is disrespectful after Alan Michaels just gave us all in this matchup. This is not right. This the is how they treat others. That's how they operate. We've seen this for weeks. Oh my gosh, Bunch. here comes the big, the big monster, the big buffoon. The caretaker of the family. What is he? Oh my gosh, no. Just leave the man alone. Come on. He did say he was doubted. Just come on, give him. Just let him rest. Come on, he just gave us all. Wait a minute. Not enough this. I'm the Uranagi. After a choke, let you think that's enough off the middle rope? Oh my God, I cannot believe my eyes. This is disgusting. Heal him this up. Is anus. Get his face in the camera. What in the world? As oh, this came to him. Get up here, big boy. Let the man go, for God's sake. Let him go. What is ha I'm happening? A you slap. Oh, my, my God, Ross. Do it again. And another one. Do it again. This is absolute. My God. These, these oh, bad of oh, heathens. He's just, oh, she's God. slapping him. Slapping the taste of it out of his mouth. I'm and now he's slapping him. I'm a dude. I'm a dude. I'm a dude. This is so disrespectful. I cannot believe what I just witnessed. And now setting the rose on top of Alan no Michaels. Chance. What? Where is security? No where is Russell Please. Cooper? Where is Josh Cooper. Allen? Yeah. Who is gonna stop the prophecy? Well, could could we? Uh, here's my question, Scott. Could we see the future of Joe Anderson be like that? Wait, chaotic is leaving. What is happening right there? James is going too. Well, the family. Oh, come on now. This has been the most disrespectful thing I have seen, I believe, in TBW history. You won your damn match. Get out of here. What in the world? Oh, my gosh. Now standing Who's over next? him. Nobody is safe from these freaks, God. Maybe we're not even safe. Uh, who knows? But you know what? What an event Rebellion was. What an event it was. We have a new hardcore champion. And Manny Cobra. Gage Flair retains. And Jay Wild is still the world champion. And Joe Anderson is the number one contender. We will see you next week on Rampage. 167. Good night, folks.